your a person was already invested in the bitcoins cryptocurrency and its taxability apurva govind raju she is a qualified uh, chartered accountant from institute of chartered accountants of india what is the taxable aspects of bitcoins take an example you are a person was already invested in the bitcoins assuming the financial year is going to be 1st of april 2021 and it is ending on the 31st of march 2022 your trading is a frequent what is the purpose of frequent why you will trade frequently because you will sell the sell your cryptos when the price increases and you buy your cryptos when the price decreases you will make a margin this margin is called as in profit so when you sell frequently it is in short trading the income is treated as in business income and it is going to be chargeable to tax as per your slab rate what is a slab rate if you are an individual whose age is below 60 up to 2.5 lakh it is going to be exempted then there is a slab rate if you are in senior citizen up to 3 lakh it is going to be exempted so if you are in an financial year 21 22 if you are already invested in cryptocurrencies this chart works for you next you are holding this cryptocurrencies as an investment what to do if you are holding for 3 years or less a 3 years or less this is called as in short term capital asset it will be treated as in short term capital asset once you sell these assets these assets means it is in cryptocurrency the income what you receive it is treated as in gain but which gain it is treated as in capital gain why because you are selling in short term capital asset the gain arising from the sale of in short term capital asset it is treated as in short term capital gain this also will be taxable as per your normal slab rates now you are holding cryptocurrency which is more than 3 years that is nothing but in 36 months more than 36 months now this cryptocurrencies will be classified as an long term capital gain once you sell in long term capital asset the gain what you receive it is called as in long term capital gain this is going to be taxed at 20% with the indexation benefit okay next one if you are a person what planning to invest or if you are a person who are holding in cryptocurrency and you want to sell it in the financial year 22 23 our <clears throat> budget which has been proposed which has been presented by the finance minister on the 1st of february they said that it is going to be taxed at flat 30% when it is applicable it is applicable from the upcoming year our upcoming financial year is starting from 1st of april 2022 and ending on 31st of march 2023 what they have told you listen to this concept carefully many people will make a mistake in understanding this concept suppose i bought a, <clears throat> a cookie at sorry i bought a cryptocurrency at rupees 1000 and i'm selling it at rupees 700 what is the profit i made i made a profit is 300 my income is going to be 300 on this 300 there is an flat rate of 30% it is not at which it is it has been purchased or sold the rate is not at the selling price that is at 3 1000 rupees let me go through this example i have purchased that 25000 cryptocurrency take an example a bitcoin i purchased it 25000 and i'm selling it at 40000 what is the profit i made the profit i made is going to be 15000 it is treated as an income what is the tax on this the tax is going to be 15000 into 30% the tax is not on the sale value that is 40000 the tax is on the gain what you made the gain what i made is 15000 on this 30% it works out to 4500 plus 4% of incess there's a concept of surcharge okay the concept of surcharge is applicable when your income when your income this figure when the 15000 that is your income when the profit figure is more than 50 lakhs 
50 lakhs to 1 crore, it is at 10%. And more than 1 crore to 2 crores, it's 15%. Like that, it is in slab rate, okay? In surcharge is also on the slab of an slab of your income as of now the income is less than 50 lakhs there's no concept of surcharge applicable next question bitcoin of purchased at 1 lakh but i've sold at 95000 i made a loss of 5000 rupees what to do with this loss the income tax is on the income it is not on the loss or it is not on the expense that's why it should be ignored you cannot do anything with respect to this loss but one provision they have given, suppose take an example, I have traded in the Bitcoin, I made a profit of 20,000. I have traded in the Ripple, in the Ripple, I have made a loss of 10,000. What I can, what I can do, I can set off this 20,000 profit and a 10,000 loss. I get a net gain of 10,000 rupees. On this net gain of 10,000 rupees, it is charged to tax at 30%. Point number one, it should be noted as the set off should be in the same financial year. Point number two, I made a profit in cryptocurrencies, but I made a loss in the securities market that is in the share market. Can I set off? No. Answer is no. It should be with the same class of assets. The cryptocurrencies and the securities markets are not treated in the same class of assets. Next one. No deduction respect of any other expenditure except the cost of acquisition can be made. Suppose take an example. I purchased at 25,000. I purchased the Bitcoin at 25,000. And I also went for in some coaching with respect to a cryptocurrencies. I paid, I paid for the a processing fees. Can I deduct all these expenses? You can deduct only the acquisition cost of the Bitcoin. Any other expenses relating to Bitcoin cannot be deductible. Next, there's a concept called TDS, which has been introduced or which has been proposed in the a current budget. What they said, a TDS of 1% is applicable if the transaction value exceeds 50,000 rupees. Take an example, Mr. Ye sold a Bitcoin worth rupees 62,000 to Mr. B. The transaction value is exceeding 50,000. Yes, a TDS at the rate of 1% is applicable. 62,000 into 1% works out to 620. So what you will do, the purchaser, the, the purchaser, 20 rupees 62,000 minus 620 and he will remit uh, the balance to Mr. B, Mr. A. This is how the concept of TDS works. A purchaser is supposed to do what TDS after deducting the tax. What is remaining? What is the residual figure which is remaining? It should be credited to the account of the seller. Next question. Ma'am, whether the TDS is applicable on all the transaction, even it is applicable on the gift? Answer is yes. My father has gifted me 1 lakh rupees, 1 lakh rupees worth of Bitcoin. Take an example. Since it is in 1 lakh rupees, which is exceeding 50,000 rupees, 1% of the TDS is applicable. So what happens in this case? He's supposed to do a TDS. He's supposed to remit 99,000 rupees. Hope the point is clear. Any person where there is a transaction with the cryptocurrency, the 1% of the TDS is applicable. Why they are introduced this concept of TDS? When it is in TDS, a person should disclose the PAN. When the PAN, with the PAN, you know that this person has been dealing with the cryptocurrencies, this type of cryptocurrency, it has been traded that day, it has been traded this month. A government get an information with respect to their citizens, with respect to their tra taxpayers, who are the people who are dealing with the cryptocurrencies. The government has given a statement that more than 8% of the India's population have invested in the cryptocurrency. They have to trace the people who have invested in the cryptocurrency so that their revenue should also increase. Next. Next question. Whether to invest in cryptocurrency? If you are a risk taker, answer is yes. But 
my suggestion you can trade in the cryptocurrency but it is not for a purpose of long term if you have any plans of saving for your children's education or if you any have plans of saving for your construction of a house property it's a long term no since the cryptocurrencies are not backed by any of the assets or there is no person who is going to regulate this market and it is in the form of a decentralized you don't know when the market is going to crash your value what you have invested one day it may become zero also that's why if you want to trade trading means buying and selling it is in short term if you can, you can invest in cryptocurrency and cryptocurrencies are not for the purpose of long term investments next one these are the things with respect to a cryptocurrency I have given just the basics essentials of what is cryptocurrency how it works if you have any q and a 